Good afternoon, gamers. <clears throat> That's my uh, secret sleepover society impression. It's how they introduce basically every stream, and it's like, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like my camera angle there. It wasn't broke, but I tried to fix it, and now we've, we've got this, like, three inches of my room that's just open for all the world to see. Everyone's gonna be doxing me for that. Alright, let's hop into Discord. Oh no, we've got a little, a little smidge of it still there. No more smidge. No! No more smidge! Oh wait, that's the wrong direction. I'll go this way. That's what this is in. I was deceived. Okay. Hello there, Radical Onion. We have uh, one VOD reviewee today for the stream. Uh, they are now in the VC. They're muted, though. Um, and so then we're going to need uh, a couple people to play League with. Um, so, Devi and Jamie want to jump in. They were the two first, so maybe maybe that's the the way that it works. If you get first, then you you get the, the first dibs on uh, what's to be in here, right? That, that's never gonna come back to bite me. Setting setting rules that other people have to abide by. Ooh. That's not a bad tree. I, I gotta say, I am a big fan of this frog. I think that. It's easily one of my favorite password guards. Uh, not to take away from any of the other fabulous password guards that we have. Like, we've got, hmm? We got, hmm. We got, hmm. 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 Like, we've got a, a quality cast here of, of, of security personnel. But... Look at his guy. Look at him. Look at how frog he is. <laughs> First in the room. <laughs> there you go. Jim, you're kind of quiet for me. It's a bit low. Okay. Heard, heard, as Reborn would say. Check, 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 check. Still checking and saying words and things and stuff. Okay. I think about here should probably be a lot better. Uh, it might be peaking a little bit there. How's this? Is that too much? It looks like I'm crackling a little bit on the high end. Let me back it off a little bit. There we go. La, 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 la. Okay. We're not peaking there yet. How's it going, Boshin? Oh my goodness, I gotta scroll so far up to get to everybody. Hello there, Silver Shadow, and Devi and Jamie, of course, who are both in here already. Um, do they need to be dragged up? Okay, Jamie's here. Uh, Radical Onion jumped out for a second because they're having mic issues, so they'll get that figured out in a second and be right back with us. There's Radical Onion again. Hi there, Radical Onion. Still not hearing them. They are unmuted this time, which I think is an improvement. Uh, going back into chat, though. Hello, Fia. Hello, Octophones and Jambler and Cooper Dagger and Wumi. The 19th Wumi. That, that part's important, I suppose. I'm doing well, Fia. Thank you. Are splooshes allowed to... Uh-oh. Uh he just jumped all the way to the bottom for me. Are splooshes allowed in a stream about range? <laughs> you have range, it's just you don't have much of it. <laughs> oh, the league is good for ranged weapons. Strawberry frog. And there's Hekka. Oh gosh, my ears are bleeding. Oh no. 
Just kidding, it's good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me worried there for a second. All right. Um, I don't think I have your friend code. Oh, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Okay. I have just messaged my friend code to Radical Onion, so this might take us just a second. Whip and Nene right now live. Uh, how about no? Um, thanks for the suggestion, though. I, I, I understand that there, there may in fact be some Zoomers in this chat. However, comma, I am not obligated to entertain them. <laughs> They don't get everything they want. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be the first tumor that I have made cry in my line of work. All right, there's onion. Everybody's favorite vegetable. All right. Friendship achieved. And that probably killed the league lobby. Yep. So we get to see our, uh, our guard once more. Actually, no, wait. I can... Oh, okay. I'm going to need to join off them. Look at me. I am the host of the room now. All right. Thank you, frog friend. And the internet was never the same after the day that people learned that you can just put things on a frog and it will accept this. Okay, so hopefully Radical Onion can now find us. Welcome, Doovy. Hey. We got the whole squad in the VC. Now we're just looking for. Oh, hey, you guys uh, redid your your griller tag. Yeah, uh, Boshin used a backwards R, and it's just like, okay, this looks cool. One second, and it just kind of works. So. Friend request received from somebody else. There's Onion. Yay. All right. Onion. Interesting on the uh, Neo Splash. In the, the VOD review, they will be playing Capro, and so that's what we're going to be talking about there. But uh, you tend to see a lot of uh, short range shooter players flex on to some of the like slightly more midline weapons like the, the Pro or the uh, 52 Gal. Face cam is out of focus. Cool. Oh, Very neat and groovy and poggers. YouTube chat. Doesn't Potions look too bad potion. to me. Uh. Who's this DV person? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not when. I think he's just naturally blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it is it green screen stuff that's causing that? I, it looks about as in focus as look. it ever is, which, to be fair, is not great. But I don't think it, it's something I would call out of focus. I'd just call it a a, a webcam and not a okay. video camera. One's in office already. Oh, I hit somebody on the other side of that wall, Jim. To your left. Well, I got him eventually. Oh, you got him! Woohoo! I've got five. 
Uh, they're jumping on back to us? spawn because they know that we're here. Do we I have three to come in? I have five. You guys don't have enough, I don't think. What are you talking uh, about? Well, you we don't have any follow up. Grab a couple and then come follow up. Uh, I've got their spawn cleared. Oh, they're back oh, no. in now. Ooh. And then there's one at our base. Jamie. Oh, well. Well, they got in. They're jumping the power in. I see. Oh, the girling bomb! Oh, free two clams. Thanks for missing the basket. So that's two down. Uh, looked like there was one mid. Uh, I'm on the left side. Oh, I was on the left side. Uh, still on, no, on the left Need side. No, we're good. I just can't stay on a wall. Armor's ready. Okay, there's a brush going mid right now. Yeah. Push the brush mid. I'm down to the hand splash. Still two mid. Careful, Onion. Uh, they're going to push you now. Okay. They're going to come up fan. Inkjet and in over ramp. there. Just keep an eye on the ramp here, Jamie. There's two underneath yeah. of it. Roller and a splash. One week on it. Not a splash. Another I don't one have on a splash. On Missling, all three left. I'm going to come in from mid. Okay. You're going to have to try to pinch, Jamie. I'll cover you. Got the brush. Gotcha. Thank you. All right. There was one that fled to plat, and they're probably going to see me, so I'm throwing this to someone else. Yeah. Yo. Jamie, pass to me so you can go with Jem. Thank you. Got one. I'm going to give you armor. Traded oh. in a second. Jem got two. Jamie, if you can follow up, I can come and maybe get a jump in. Yeah, and they're dropping out things. to the right. Yeah, look at me, Debbie. I'm in. Jump to J Jamie. Jump to Jamie. I'm going to jump yep, to Pity yep, in. Yep. Boop. And we get this in as well. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to try to get our clans from our base. Uh, yeah, Onion's I have, got a couple, I... but Onion's got to jump over. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I... Onion's coming. I'll try to protect. I kept them back a little bit. There are two there. About to back up now. Yeah, a bunch of clams behind Jamie there. Oh, okay, Jamie's I... last. I back into the missiles. I did an oops. Okay, they're going to be in mid now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on left yeah, I mean, guard. I'm maintaining oh, fan. There. Brush trying to get up fan. Roller below me. I hit somebody on fan Brush once, weak. twice. Nice. Oh, nice. I was... there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome okay, to sprinkler mode. <laughs> They're probably like, oh my weekend. god, that, that Hydra's a god for the fall off. <laughs> I've had much practice. Okay, yeah, armor owner's up. Alright. I'm gonna try and threaten over one of the angles so that they have to look that way. Uh, there's one on their snipe. Me and you are down, right? Oh, uh, one dropped to two, me, right? no! Well, they're I'm too mid, too they're, they're... There's one directly below me. There's I two, actually. Over left office. Good stop. One more. One behind pillow. Brush. One's one's on our. Yeah, um, uh, just roller. I just got roller. Over. We're good. Nice. We're there good. You go. I have bike clams. Uh, there's four directly beneath me, so I can grab those whenever. But I'm not dropping yet. We don't have yet. to score. We don't have to score. Just pick yeah. up. Yeah, plus thirty. Okay, there's one on their street. I picked these up. I have nine. I see that. Jamie, there's the one on their street again. Okay. Hit him twice. I'm gonna pop armor. Uh, is there one behind? Yeah, Ooh. brush drop right. Hit him twice. He's in the corner. Okay, good trade, good trade. We're cool with that. Oh. I messed up. One dropped right, ends up on the jump. Oh! Got nope. one. Nope. Okay. Nope. Now we need to get over to the left nope. of the fence. There's no one between I'm... them and basket. Yep, I tried, but there's a roller on our fan waiting to drop. They're jumping to it. Roller dropped on me. I'm down. Got, Got one. There's two. Just the pressure for two now. In base, two in base. La one. Don't have enough. Nice. There you go. That's a trade, I think. It was a I trade.
Ooh. All right, here you go. Gem's natural 480p. Yeah, exactly. Anyone born in the 90s? <laughs> Yeah, you go much older than me and you start getting interlaced. <laughs> pretty, pretty soon we just won't be able to see you. Yeah, my grandpa only exists in propaganda films. <laughs> my great-great-great-uncle uh, only exists in paintings. <laughs> Moi, exactly. I agree with that, Fia. Oh. Uh oh. It needs to be brought back up. Is is Va Vazti? Is that Chilfen? That, that would be in character. Uh, I don't know for sure, though. Oh, lovely. Um, let's... Hmm. What's happening? Radical Onion can neither hear us or speak. You want to just hop down into their channel? Okay. Alrighty. How about here? Can you hear us and say things now? Hi. Uh, yes, um, why that is working. Work here? Oh, you can hear me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it okay, because of certain permissions? Probably, because it says, it does say the channel's locked. So, uh, I don't know. It is locked, but I'm able to drag other people up to it. And it's been fine, yeah. Yeah, and Debbie, you don't have a different role than. Mm -mm, Onion neither does, does Jamie. Do you? We're, this, we're the exact same. Hmm. I'm going to try it one more time, real quick. Test, test, say things in words. Nope. Yeah, it's not working up there. So. That's odd. Um, Couldn't tell you what's different. Twitch subscriber. The only other thing I can did, think of. Oh, did you? Uh, oh, click on, Onion, like, can you stuff? can you not say things even now? Uh, for some oh, reason. Yeah, there you are. I, I can. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but. That's weird. I don't know. I guess as long as it works. Yeah, Jamie definitely doesn't have. Jamie has literally exactly the same roles that you have. So it's very weird yeah. that that's a problem in that channel, but not here. Did you react to all the rules and whatnot? No, yeah. Like, you they, have the exact same Jamie, roles. You have exactly the same roles that he has. Smashers, Squid Kids, Gamers. Exactly those three. It could be, I don't know, maybe if it's mobile, mobile's doing a funny, funny yeah, it could odd be. thing. Because I know yeah. that happens more often with mobile. Anywho, uh, I know... One of the players on the other team. 96 Magi. Yeah, they, they, they're not playing 96. No. False advertising. One mid. Bump. The bump blaster. Nice. Got the junior. Um, the are useless. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. One's on their spawn belt. Gem to your left, to your left, directly. Yeah, we're okay. good, we're good. They backed up, they backed up. It was just burst bomb. I didn't know if they, I didn't know if they were it's rushing. Jamie. That was the thing. Oh. Watch out for hammer. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It went from behind. Uh, I don't know where from behind, but... It looks like Not the one. hammer... Oh. The sploosh went out left and came through mid. Oh, man. My aim is so bad right now. I should be dead, like, three times nope. over from all of oh, this. Nope. Trying to help you. Trying to help you. There's one in mid. Have armor. There's, I'm gonna get rushed here. Yeah, yeah there's only one. On oh, right. blaster is nice. in mid. One more Two are hump. Hit him twice. It's under our basket. Ah. Oh, okay. Blaster's one shot on the right. Oh, oh ain't it. Never mind. Just watch our basket. They have oh, pain. Okay. Probably someone directly underneath of it. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I tapped him. They're gonna jump. 
someone next to our basket. Nice, nice, nice. There we oh, go. Got you. Blaster. Oh dear. Blaster down. Oh. L3 three oh, no. I hit him twice. I'm down. Just bump. I'm bump, I'm bump. Nice. There, there you go. go. Paint up. I'm gonna come out right. I'll meet you over there. Armor's gonna be up. Uh, they have the right painted and Junior's over here. Oh, never mind. They went back to their bump. Oh, Blaster just me. dropped in the left. Sploosh on left. Hit him twice. Got him. Two in mid. Uh, they armored, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm done a Blaster. I gotta look mid here. Clam holder's down. Blaster's still there. Oh, cool. Left it conveyor fell on belt. Ramp. Oh, on our <laughs> useless rail. Use tires, tires too. I'll watch left. You guys can focus on oh. flushing him out. Ink chat on left. Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> Jeez, and you tell us him. language for Squid School. Oh no, I did not mean to pick this up. I got the inkjet going. Sometimes you just get so scared that you forget where you are. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna have That's... to uh, cut that one out of the uh, out of the edit or something. <laughs> Is this where we give gem detention? Yeah. <laughs> Valid. I will say, there was oh. exactly one time, as a professional teacher, that I swore in front of my students. And it was because I had just looked across Tires. the street and saw somebody had gotten hit by a bus. Oh, oh my okay, God. well that, that... <laughs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So, uh, that puts you in the kind of the state of mind left. that I was in just now. Oh, one dropped in a bit. Almost our armor again. I got wrong. directed by a blaster on the right. I'm you can pitch armor. the two. You can, oh, uh, we're no two one. down. Yeah, we're two down. Oh, nice, oh, nice. We got God. someone, though. Someone's phone's going off. Let's go, That's Onion. Yeah, Let's sorry. go. Woo, woo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a good you have though. You have layers. <laughs> uh, especially when we do uh, armors. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Jamie, see if you can help pinch we that on the two. left. Jim, try to take... Never mind. Yeah, was, watch out. Got one. Nice. That's good loose. Job. Nice. Three three down. So on left. Watch out for blaster drop. Got you in your trade. Nice. No armor for you guys, though. Oh, yeah, no, my Debbie has armor. We don't have any even clams. We don't have any clams. I've got eight. Missling the basket. I'm going to go in. Oh, uh, there's one directly beside me. Oh, I got it. There we go. Woo. Got oh, one. Okay. There's another one behind me. Come on, Jerry. Oh, okay, we got two. Oh, they're all down. Okay, I'm going back for more clams. Watch out for them to spawn in. I'll try. I'll just try to chunk bombs for you, Debbie. Okay, this no, should be No, go lead. get clams. Go get clams. One dropped. Two dropped. Got one. Another one on I'm the other side. I'm done blaster. I, I, there's everywhere. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Good points. Last 45. One more defense and we win. Uh, they're going to be pretty close to the basket by now. Inkjet over. Inkjet, they have also a hammer. Double inkjet. Oh my god. <laughs> Careful, they're Coming rushing. In. Got him, nice. Hammer! Oh. Yeah, they used every single this. special. I am trying not to die. There is one behind basket. There's two, actually. I think one of them is already down. Yeah, there we go. They're under the wall. They're jumping in begin with that more. clam. Oh, oh. we didn't oh. Oh. All right. So we need two power no, no, clams we have, worth. We... we need a lot. Yeah. Still a chance, though. Oh, dear. Left side. Two in mid. I'm missing left side. Let's try and isolate that. I'll try and cut I'm them on off. on the right. Got yeah, a blaster. Oh. Two down, two down. Okay, push the last two are under up. their basket. Yeah, Popping armor and push. Oh, oh, we didn't, didn't score in time. in time. That was such a good push, too. We had them completely backed up. We had paint control. We were going in safely. We just snuck in there with power clam. Yeah, like 21. Yeah, that was a really high K8, even for a junior. Yeah. Now to see how many assists. Is this game open to us in the chat? I have played solo since Splatoon 1 came out. I would like to try a team sometime. Currently on Splatoon. Uh, so the way that we do League in the beginning is first dibs on a spot goes to the person who's getting VOD reviewed that day. 
Um, after that, I generally just grab Debbie and Jamie because um, I've played with them before competitively and I know them. Um, but I'm not necessarily opposed to other people jumping in here. Um, and if you ever do want a VOD review, you know, just let me know and we can talk about things like callouts and communication. Uh, I am also going to be making a video on callouts that's coming out in the not super near future. The first one that's going to come out is on Rainmaker, but um, I'm working pretty hard to make sure that that gets out in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so. Speaking of callouts, sorry I'm not doing them. I'm, I'm just not used to them. Oh yeah, right. no worries, no good. worries. It is, it is definitely something that takes practice also, to get into. Also, Jamie, t 10 assists. Let's go, Junior Power. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven kills. What? What? <laughs> Eleven kills. <laughs> Nine deaths. What? Six armors. Lots of bombs. Uh, a lot of them went on right. Left. They're mostly left. Yes. Oh shoot! I had the brush snuck up on me. Traded them. Two down. This expo on Maybe right. Two. They put a beacon on the left conveyor as well. Let's try to see you. you go. But I can't take much more damage. I'm gonna try getting back in on right. Yeah, I'm coming with you. Rollers, Rollers on right here. Push this way. Explo is also Yo, here. Yo, pinch that. Explo That's weak. great. Oh, they ballered. They ballered, yeah. I can't push that too hard. Oh, 96 no, seed. Oh. Roller on left. Uh, they ballered too, <laughs> come on. Uh, Jamie. How many ballers are there? Brush behind, behind, you. behind us. Behind you. Got him, traded. I only have one clam. Just roller. There There's a bunch of clams behind me here that you can grab, Jamie. I'm gonna get just yeah, make sure to keep it open. It's halfway. Out. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, you directed me. Watch out. I'm coming in with five more. Two from mid. I'm cutting them off. Roller down. There's a brush right beside me. Nice trade. Trade. Ah. week, nice. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be coming in with eight. Okay. Perfect. I'll have six. There is a beacon near the stairs here. I'm trying to get it. That's game. I just... <laughs> the, the Explo said peekaboo and I said no thank you. <laughs> oh, they're brush DC'd at the end too! Oh, that's a big sad. Uh, rage quit. <laughs> I just saw it off the stream leg like, that the brush DC'd. Oh. Poor brush. Yeah. But yeah, Blue Frog, uh, so to get a VOD review with me, what you can do is uh, in this Discord server, just DM me. My tag is Gem. Uh, actually, currently it's Sus Gem because somebody amogust at me. I, I don't know. Um, and uh, just let me know, and I'd be happy to you know, talk scheduling and logistics with you on how that's going to work. Um but the, uh, the video on callouts itself is going to be coming out on YouTube um, sometime. I, I'm going to be working on videos more than I was before, but there are a lot of projects currently in the works, and uh, not just on the Squid School channel. So figuring out you know a release schedule is going to be tricky for that. But um, it is definitely in process. The script is all written. I'm pretty sure I recorded it too, and I'm uh, just working on getting the clips suited to it which unfortunately is the longest longest part of it but yeah gem is sus confirmed i agree with that statement frog frog jeez almost makes me All think that frogs. this is someone who uh is watching the stream here it almost does doesn't it mm -hmm. I need more practice on this map. On this map mode. Well, I mean, it isn't a comp one, so... Unless if we play the bad ideas only tournament. Then we'll see it. <laughs> you should, we should play that. I mean, the next one is a very interesting one. <laughs> what is it? Both teams are in the VC! <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, that's yes. so awesome. Wait, I love that. <laughs> You should be able to get that. Oh, never mind. I got that. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're heavy is just sitting there on the plat. I don't know if you guys can see this. I got it. really weak. They're trying to jump to it, but... Oh, I got I, that. Uh, can we score? I... 
no, because the clam is dead. I'm being chased yeah, by a little. Uh, they're co gonna come in left. Oh no! If we don't watch that. Uh, Are you trying to come back fan. if you can? Oh, they went oh, fan. No. Yeah, they went fan. Hey, Luna. I didn't have hey, the ink to drop, drop a bomb and I lost no. my opportunity. No. Watch so out. three in office. Careful about dropping. Okay, I got two of the them. Just 96. They're in here. So oh, we jump. picked up pity. Oh, whoops. It's um, all good. This uh, talks about the about, daddy. We can talk about pity oh, clam. Uh, onion, give me the pity clam, and then you can go play with the other ones. Thank you. Um, because that's that's something that uh, is a little bit advanced, to knowing not to I pick guess. it up. I guess it is. It's true. That's, I just wanted to make it known that we had the pity. We're gonna have two clams. Uh, uh, so uh, there are two. There are two. I got blasted. Uh, that means Last I need to Debbie. retreat, don't I? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You're all trying to cover you with bombs. Oh, I got him with a mine! <laughs> there you go. Oh no, that that jump might. Okay, I was worried that that would not still be safe. I was like, I am holding. They're trying to come down. up, man. Oh, this is where I go do sprinkler things, right? Uh, they jumped away. They're in mid somewhere. One's okay, on left. There's end. a bunch okay. on their street. Okay. Uh, is they're in they're right. There's. It? There's Nobody's three of them watching directly office. Nobody's watching there. office. I'm moving right. Yeah, just just take that advantage. It's just the gals. The two rotated over here. Push street while you can. Uh, they rained me. They're pushing me out. I'm down. We're two down. One's chilling right there. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're two before. Try to back up. Yeah. There's two on the left corner. Got Is one. In. Didn't get one? Okay. Watch our fan. Heavy watching right. They're booing. They're coming out. They're oh. running. Missling left. Three there. I'm going to drop down flank from mid. Ah, I hop. Oh, uh, shoot. Me. Sorry. We three need to make it. Three on their fan. Uh, Jamie, try right. to. We when Jem's going a direction, try to go with him. Okay. Because I can hold up these corners well on my own. Even while being seen. Somebody on the left. Yeah, I'm going oh, to cut off the rest from helping him. Traded. All right, good stops. Got you. Two. One with the clam, obviously. One nice. with the booyah. Got both of them. There you go. No booyah good or stop. armor. Okay, we need to paint in the mid. Just watch out for them to be spawning because they're gonna be on plat they're by on this the... point. Yeah, they are. One fan. Ah, uh, there's a Luna. I'm down. Got the gal. Oh, they're already. They're going to basket. Uh, I. They weren't at office yet. I tried to come up behind. No, them. they. They went. They went up and then they came back to you. They knew you were coming back around. Gotcha. In office is Blaster. Yeah, there's, there's like three. Got one. I'm down. Still on my ouch. It's easy, yeah. It's the 96. We do. Oh, uh, we just need a power plus one. Oh, not anymore. Cool. We just have to stop the push. I can't shred that. Um, right. Oh, they're jumping in at pillow. Both weak. Both down. Okay. Now we just need a way in. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pressure right. I have nine. There's two on the street left. We need to get in from another angle than just right. Nice. I got That's the one down. Uh, they dropped on me right. Two. Two coming out right. No. One week on left. On the left of me. Nice, nice. I'm gonna get up. We need to try to get trying to get a jump. Forward. Jump now, jump now, jump now. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Now we need to make sure we keep the clams up. Got two. Jim, go get clams. There are clams underneath the basket. I'm popping. Yeah, there's the only first. there's only one. One more, one more. There yes, we go. There you go. 
Very good. Hi, very boy. Good. Hi, Yoshi, and hi, X Ray. Whee! And the splat doolies are OP. I wish. <laughs> I, uh, I used those weapons for so long in Clam Blitz, but then the MPU patch happened, and it was just not worth it anymore. I remember your dually days. Those were good times. Witnessing you dodge roll into the water all the time. <laughs> hey, I did knock someone over into the water with them once. Look, okay, no, that that body check clip was hilarious. That is your all-time moment with duallys right there. <laughs> it is probably the coolest thing I've ever done with duallys. My favorite clip is when he was on Mori Clams and he just tossed it off the map. Okay, but that's not about the duallys, though. <laughs> That was a K bro clip, and I didn't playing. see because there was a booyah bomb in my face, and I thought the <laughs> bowl was someplace else. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Jim. I have had two misclims during oh, two different that, drafts. But well, during drafts, that one was like, caught was on today. stream. <laughs> and that's the important <laughs> part. You can mess up as many times as you want, and you're still a god as long as it's not recorded. But as soon as okay, someone's no, no, no. caught you in 4K, that's when... All right, it, it's embarrassing now. Okay, Kate, okay. my um, my all-time favorite clam miss is when Katie, she it was on Sturgeon Shipyard, and she had a jump in with the pity, and she threw it on top of the clam bowl. Nobody could get it. <laughs> and, and everyone was just like, what the heck? Yeah, that, that, that must be in... irretrievable at that point. It is. One <laughs> <laughs> was best best part. I died for that jumping. <laughs> you <laughs> to see like my little squid soul floating up to to the clam. <laughs> it's right here. The... Why can't I just grab it with my ethereal tentacles? <laughs> Hi there, Annie. <laughs> Willing to ditch them, but I don't want to follow the shooter meta. I applaud the, you, Octopons. The problem is it's just not worth committing to a dodge roll. They do paint a little bit better, and it's a pretty good way to get baller on a team if you want something aggressive. But, uh... Oh, they already... It's hard to even justify over the vanilla 52. There's two on the left, and Charger's one of them. There's one more hit. Traded. Oh, go. dear lordy. Yeah, we're all three on... I oh, traded okay, with a hammer, trade, but there's trade. a charger by our basket. Oh, I see oh boy. <laughs> Watch out for sharks. Yeah, junior. Charger oh. is... Fire arcade now. I'm painting up so they don't have ways in. One pillow, oh, the one pillow, one pillow. On me. Another one in office. Two. Uh, Got them both. There you go. Charger's on fan, I can hear it. Yeah, I'm fighting it right now, you're just... Alright, I'm gonna flank it then. Okay, there, you go. there, there you go. go. Good job, Onion. Thanks. Uh, I've got missiles. There's one there flat. Gonna be watching me trying to come up fan. I have armor. Let me know. Here. Alright, I'm missling. I'll be, I'll be halfway oh, to mine. Uh, I can't get up now. Got one. Okay, two get watching flat. So we should be able to kind of force over right, but I'm going to try and keep drawing their attention here. Chargers need another game. special. Oh, uh, no. Out mid. Onion, you can throw me the clam, and then you can inkjet. There you oh, go. oh, that's a bomb. Where are you? Where are you? There. Just chuck it backwards, oh, and a lot. Debbie should be able to pick it up. Oh, oh shoot. No, they're they're getting into our office. Yeah, there's, they're looking into office, but I think yeah. we can stop this. Got him. Nice. You missed. Good job. I was here if you missed that. There's still someone here. Yeah, if I, miss, if, I miss the right. initial, if I miss the initial pass, don't worry about it. I will pick it up before it dies. Okay. Unless if I die. Uh, do we have clams? Because uh, I have uh, missiles. And I have nine. I have over. nine. Blink okay, it let's quick, because they're under our go, basket. Go, go, go. Oh, they're behind us. Or one, one's behind us. I couldn't score. I did get the one at our basket. The one's coming up from behind. Oh, shoot. That's you, Jim. Oh, no. Jim yeah, it's just I'm you. stuck in here. 
Uh, Chargers by a fan. I don't know which one because my brain's reversed right now. Oh, left fan, left fan. Left, dial, uh, left office now. Okay. Feel free to use ours there as if you're confused. I didn't even know whose it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, okay, I didn't even trade. Two on an, our fan. Oh boy. The ink chip. And the hammer. I got the hammer. Uh. I can't oh, shoot straight God. down. Got one of them. Behind the pillow. They're stuck. And the stingray I, is there. Oh like dear, I did not mean to go here. Charger or uh, oh, whoops. Uh, ram? Uh, uh, yeah, chargers in our arcade. Yeah, that was a bad idea to pick that up. They're still coming. No, 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 no. It's, it's just dead. <laughs> just leave it. Control. I don't have an angle. Charger's got my number. I'm trying to bomb him out. He backed up. The one directly below me on the left here? Yeah, it's L3. And then two arcade. Mm -hmm. They popped armor. Careful about They're so dropping careful. After that onion. There's oh, not a lot no. Of There's still people in our office. Bloosh. That's a hammer. Ah. Uh. They still have it. Yet. Uh, I'm down to bomb. <laughs> All good. I will say I'm actually quite surprised I got the trade on that hammer at the very start. It came right at me. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know that. I even know that they, they trade. I thought that you just got them. No, I I traded with the hammer. While um, even if I did get the hammer, I was dead to a snipe because the charger had me on full lock. I was in a 2v1 at our basket. All right, thank you, Blue Frog. Start. And uh, remember, just if you want to uh, get on the show, um, definitely DM me on Discord about it. Um, I'd, I'd love to have you on, love to help you out with callouts and stuff. I think that's a topic that would be good to cover. So just let me know. If you need that Discord server again, that is here. Um... Hello, Bernie the Pro. Is that is that like a splatter shop pro? Because that's what we're playing today. Uh-huh. Or are they just an outright pro and we're just in their presence? Uh that's is this not our Brock. the Brock? Is it? Part of me feels like it is because I know XPC. If it ends up being a twenty three hundred <laughs> or higher league power, it probably is our Brock. <laughs> we're so sorry, Hashtag Onion. Not our Brock. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Okay, probably not. Yeah, it not, is. Not on Glugas. Okay. Not on Glugas. No. Unless if they're just having fun. But I do know the one player, though. Oh. Okay. Got one. Glugas still on me, though, unlocked. Okay, so these are definitely, I can tell you already, these are not normal 1900 players. Interesting. I just, I just got sub strafe, but yet I beat the sub strafe. Thank you. One, another one on me, Dooley's. They drop into mid. I see him in mid, yeah. Missling. I thought uh, that was. <laughs> push mid, push mid. <laughs> Trade it. Oh, there were so many clams down there. Is this the glue guys again? Ah, uh, he's, he's too shot. 2v2. Looks like Debbie had to back up. Where's uh, the Hydra coming? I mean, or not the Hydra? I am the Hydra. What am I talking about? Well, that's. that's gonna the come Hydra. Up. Careful our bump. Careful our bump. Uh. Got the Glugas, one in mid on me, got me. Let's shoot, Eddie. I know. It could be Brock. I could see. Oh, hi! Brock. Hi! hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could, I could see it being Brock. Why is that trade? That's annoying. Oh, I thought he fell in the water. Oh. No. Alright, I'm gonna come out from mid and try and push them towards our basket. There's two directly underneath. Got one, there's another one below it, on the wall. Uh, oh, wow. 
Maximum range. One dropped left. One dropped left. One's yeah. in mid. Uh, and I'm one's gonna on right. left and then go in from left. Cut this guy off. Oh, they stopped me. On the tires. On the tires. Two on left still. Two Thank on you. left. Sploosh on right now. There's the one with the clam. Oh, another one on me. Another one on me. Never mind. It's for Sploosh. It's dapples that have but the clam. Blue goes on another on the left. A diamond got me, but there you go. Dooley's weak. Ah, uh, just you, Daddy. Fun. I broke a baller. <laughs> I'm gonna hammer. I, I broke basket. my back. <laughs> oh, Dynamo got me from behind. <laughs> uh, I don't think they keep it open. Oh no, they do. They win. <laughs> oh my god! Really funky so turn. I'm just like, well, oh. I broke my back. <laughs> I broke a baller, but I broke my back. Hi there, Junior Zaha. <laughs> Doing pretty well today. If Jim whipped you me gay, Debbie? live, I would be having a good day. <laughs> uh, Is your back okay, Debbie? I'm so sorry, Vaz. I, I wish we could give you a good day. 12 year old me thought it would just be funny to use my dad's name as a username. <laughs> well, greetings, Derek's son. Hello there, Bernie. Man, I'm making guides to shot Goodbye, calling Bernie. as well. How's the motion? <laughs> yeah, uh, so all the call it'll be about call outs in general, which include shot calls. Um, so call outs is a very broad term that it's just anything that you say during a match, even the useless things. Um, you want to minimize the useless things, that's a pro tip there, but uh, it's, uh, it's gonna include you know, location call outs, but also shot calls, you know. It, Generally, like most callouts should be shot calls. They should be like, here's a verb that you should actually do, um, whether it be watch this player or push this player or come with me or use your special or something like that. Only useless things. That is a callout, actually. There are some locations on maps that are called useless. There's a useless in Piranha Pit. Come back, Junior? They're trying to kill us. Blaster uh, got me right. They're around the, the corner. They have to run away. I know. There you go. There you go. Or, or... There's still one left. They got onion. Okay, the uh, basket's open. Basket's open. Here's my... I'm trying to back them up a little. But they have armor. One coming around left. Junior. Two on uh. me. Two on me. Junior down? No, they should be down, but they are not. Got blaster? I, one, I made a ball on right it. Well left. That booyah bombs to me. No, it's not. They missed. Jamie, no. Missling forward. Jamie should be safe. One in mid. One in uh, mid. Behind the pillow. Someone on left too. They're trying to push me out on left now. Got him. There you go. Lane's down on right. Two on the right. Popping armor. Oh, there's at least a pro on the right. Oh. Is that one? Oh, Ooh, there's one below yeah. me. Below me, blaster! Ow! In mid, in mid. I think I finished the blaster with the, uh, the burst bomb. Bravo. One mid and one left. Uh, Keisha's on me. You got me. Save the clam anyway. I mean, there's Got one the directly below me on this right side here. I'm no, down. I don't want that. Blaster on left, peeking. <laughs> Two in front of Onion there. Oh, dear. Almost an armor. Armor ready, popping it. Blaster is the clam. There Got you blaster. go, nice push, nice push. One more on me, pro. Got him. Be cool. 
One in, Last one in the, the, the... Okay, they just tried to save the claim, I guess. Useless is down. Oh, cool, no! they got claims for me. How nice of them. I thought that you had been safe from that. Sorry. Like, you thought that you were oh, far were enough away. No, I, I got out of mind, but because you were further behind me, your last one's gonna hit me. Alright, Sorry. don't push basket, just hold mid control. Blaster. Armor up. You go jump. I got the blaster. Yep, go, go, go. Oh, juice. Do, 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 I traded. I'm I dropped a lot of clams on the right uh, hand side. Here, here, here. Have three. Um, I need to pick those up. There you go, we're in. From Blaster behind you, guys. There you go. Blaster down. Oh, there's one on my own. Missling their spawn belt. They're booyahing from behind, so I'm just gonna wait here. Got one. One on me, behind. Nice. I got you, don't worry. Can we get more clams? Red yeah, gems got a bunch. I've got I just got four. They're on their conveyor belt. They dropped the basket, two of them? We need two oh. more. I think they finish it. Yo, onion go, I believe! Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Layers. On the map, do the teammate icons sometimes appear larger or smaller? Is that when people are in or out of ink? I think that's when they're firing, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, what? Um, on the map, when your teammate icon appears larger or smaller. Um, I think the little, like, squid in the ink. I want to say that's it. I might be wrong. I never knew that. That's cool. But I would have to go in and confirm, so I, I don't want to say that and have everyone believe it and be wrong. All right. So that is well, League to Power. Probably. We're now going to swap things around a little bit and get set up for the VOD review. So uh, I'm going to... Oh, I think I'm going to go, go like switch to my computer. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so that should be this. Cool. Put that there. And then record to Discord as well. Okay. Um, so we're waiting for just a second for Radical Onion to make it back. Um, go into check chat and make sure I'm up to par on it. Hope that your internet starts working better for you, Ryan. That's really frustrating, you know, when you have everything else that you need, but there's something kind of outside of your control where you don't have a lot of choices sometimes. Uh, in the meantime, Devi, uh, let's hop in a, a private battle really quick and okay. just check that. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we, we need both Demi, Devi and Jamie to be there because we need a teammate oh. and an opponent to be able to start the game. Um, so I'm just going to make a, a quick private battle. You guys hop in and let's see if we can get to the bottom of that uh, question that Annie asked. Because that is something that I'd be interested in knowing about. <laughs> So lobby's up. Is it passworded? No. Like usual. Just go okay. zoom. Also, also remember to change your screen to the actual gameplay. Um, I was just gonna hold it here because we're we're checking to see what it is, but. Oh, I didn't know if the, if the stream wanted to. Uh, there's see. Debbie and Jamie. Are you coming? Can Jamie hear us? Did Jamie leave? Jamie is muted. Um, if one other person would like to hop in here really quickly, just to check this and do some science. Uh, I do see Radical Onion back in the chat now. Are you there? I'm not hearing him. I never saw them left to leave. 
They did disconnect from the voice chat for a second. Oh, but... I just missed it entirely. I was trying to change all my windows. Alliance. Okay. Agent 8. Close enough. I'll put Agent 8 on my team. So, actually, wait. I should put Debbie on my team. Because <laughs> then I, I, you're in the call and I can tell you what True. to try. Agent 8 taking their sweet time deciding which weapon they want to use. <laughs> uh, Radical Onion, you still trying to get the uh, audio sorted? So let's just step like just outside the uh, spawn point here okay. and like paint up a little bit. And oh, yes. Then... Paint up a little bit. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So come out of the ink. Go back into the ink. Out of the ink. Yeah, that's making no difference. Uh, fire some shots. That's not changing anything either. Uh, maybe here, I'm going to go up and like try and engage and take some damage because it looks like Agent 8 is willing I, to fight us. Can you I see me differently like, now? Uh, I'm down now, but I you'd know. have to like have the map open the whole time. Yeah. Okay. I Well, I'm running for missiles. Oh, yeah. Take, take some damage from the missiles. See if that changes anything. No, it doesn't. It looks like it's all the same size still. Okay, I'm just watching you this entire time now. If Agent Eight spots you, yeah, uh, I got him. I got, got him cleanly, so it didn't it change looks anything. It looks the same though. Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? It probably is. It's when you've selected them to super jump to them. Oh. Because look, I indicated. I'm going back to spawn. Now I've indicated I'm going to Devi. Spawn, Devi. That does, that does change it, yes. All right, we figured it out. Okay. And now we dance. Where are you? <laughs> I steal. I... <laughs> This is amusing to watch. Oh. <laughs> you thought peace chat. was an option. Meanwhile, chat just watches this while here's here's everything happen. All right. All so, right. uh for for voice context, uh Agent 8 had the tower up to our bunker on Gobi, and then yeah, Jen decided to this, steal it, and then now we have it on the bunker, and we've just passed second checkpoint. I have armor. I haven't used it yet, but I'm on the tower. Jem, get on the tower. It goes by quicker on the checkpoint. We just took lead. Okay, Jem's just deciding to splat Agent 8. Uh, I'm just... Okay, I'm gonna give victory armor now. Okay, and now Jem's missling, and that's the game. <laughs> We switched to the screen so that they could see it part way through. <laughs> but I, appreciate I didn't the know, so I'm like, I'll commentate <laughs> over it. Okay. Radical Onion is trying to work on it. Uh, Radical Onion, I'm going to message you. If you can at least hear me, then that's probably okay. And then we can just rely on text chat for questions.
<laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's what it is, Annie. I'm glad that we went back and uh, figured that out because I knew, I knew there was an answer to that. I just couldn't remember what. Okay, Radical Onion is able to hear. And so I'm going to call that good for now and start with the VOD review. Um, and uh, yes, we are on the right screen. Cool. I'll so, let you know if anything comes up. Yep, appreciate it, Debbie. Okay, uh, so this is Tower Control Anchovy Games. This is a pretty common uh, competitive map mode. Um, so pretty solid one to choose. And this is at S+. Plus. Um, I believe they're S plus zero at the moment. So, unfortunately, you didn't get a, a great role for uh, weapons that your teammates are using. Um, to be clear, none of these weapons are actually bad on tower control. The problem is that they shouldn't be played together. <laughs> um, so... Let's talk about the comp a little bit for just a second so that you can see why this is substandard and it's uh, going to be a little bit unfortunate in terms of how the match plays out. So first of all, we got kind of a double backline going on. Um, so you're not going to have quite as much pushing power moving forward. And um, while you would prefer to have frontliners in front of you pushing out to give you space and let you take more comfortable positions you might need to play a little bit like a splatter shot in some cases. You might need to push forward and be a little bit more aggressive uh, than you maybe want to be on this weapon. But the second problem is that um, you don't have that much paint. You've got a Clash Blaster. Blasters are never going to paint especially well. The fire rate is just too low. Um, and this one in particular has a really low range, which accentuates the problem, even though it has a higher fire rate than most blasters. And the K-Pro has ink efficiency problems. Um, the painting pattern it has is fine. It's, it's pretty decent, but it's a slow enough fire rate and it runs out of ink quickly enough that it's generally a bit of a liability in something like a Splat Zones comp. So um, you're, you're a little bit too low on ink. You don't have quite enough frontline pressure. Because you're low on ink, it's going to be harder for you to move forward there, there are some issues there. Um, Booyah is great. Um, I forget if this is the Clash Blaster that has missiles or ray, but either of those specials are fantastic on tower control. And then you've got the uh, Jet Squelcher that has missiles as well. Surprised we're not seeing the ray one. Um, I can't really think. You know, like on, on tower control, you know, that's a mode where Stingray is really decisive and nasty at the end of the game. So. You have a the lot of specials that are really good for... Punishing too. What was that? The mist is still pretty punishing, too, on tower. Yeah, it can be. Um, can freeze someone there on the tower, but, like, they are still on the tower for an amount of time before they get splatted, so I don't know. I guess if someone's tower dancing, it can stop them from uh, doing that as effectively. In any case, um, all of these weapons are individually fine for tower control, but they have paint problems and aggression problems because of the way that it's working. Um, meanwhile, the other team has basically a meta comp. Um, maybe a little bit less... Uh, maybe a little bit less paint than they maybe want. Between you know, Nautilus paints okay, Rapid doesn't paint great, but the, you know, the other two weapons are going to make up for that to some degree. Um, the, this this comp is something that I would not be surprised to see in a tournament. Um, so, a little bit unfortunate there. The, the, the luck of the draw was not in your favor, but we'll see how this plays out. Um, what I wanted to talk about the most is the way that you're taking fights and the way that you're using cover. Um, which, I know that we, we talked about, you know, how to use your weapon range, but we'll talk about how that is basically all that matters with regard to weapon range. Um, it's, it's really all about positioning. So all, all those concepts are very closely intertwined. So you see, I, I love this map check because this map check gives you extremely useful information that you then immediately act on. You see, okay, relative to me, is there any ink going down very close? Oh, there is on the right-hand side right here. So what we want to do right now is look at this player because they are very close to us 
depending on what, what weapon they are, they might even be in range of us right now. Um, you see from the way that they're painting here... We'll slow it down for just a second. This is not the kind of paint that a blaster puts down. So we've narrowed it down a little bit. This is pr the Zap, the Nautilus, or the, uh, the Jet. Jet is very unlikely to want to drop out here. Ends up being the Zap. Um, now, let's run through a couple of possibilities here. Let's say that this weapon is shorter range than you. Well, if that's the case, then standing up here gives you an even greater advantage against them because they have to push up really, really close to hit you and you can hit them from very far away, not just because your weapon has more range, but also because you have height advantage. Let's say this weapon has longer range than you. If you drop down to try and fight them, they can just back up and kite you across this open space. If you, uh, if, if they push up close enough, you might actually be able to hit them with height advantage from the, the range they're trying to hit you. And if they have better range than you do, then if you stay on fan, you're able to back up somewhere. But if you drop off fan, you have nowhere to run. So regardless of the situation, you want to stay on fan here. Um, it either gives you cover and a way to run away from it, or it gives you a really powerful advantage in the fight, at least until you figure out what weapon they are. Um, maybe once you figure out that this is the end zap, and if they decide to hang around this area, then you can drop and approach them and get within range before they can get in your ra in range to hit you. And that's a pretty good option there. But here, what happens is, because we drop down and we surrender that height advantage, they're actually able to respond to us dropping down and get with a little bit of cover here. This isn't quite perfect cover. You can hit this with very precise shots, but it's going to make it very difficult for you to hit. And now that they've moved here, you actually have, you're at a disadvantage of anything um, because they can drop from whatever side they want. They can see you very easily. You're out in the open. Whereas the, the big advantage that you have in this fight against a short ranged weapon is that your weapon has longer range than they do. But now you can't use that range because they're already in range to hit you. So it doesn't matter that your weapon has longer range. It's just a DPS check between your weapon and theirs. And also it's a hard angle for you to hit because you have to like aim up over this wall. Whereas they standing up above the ledge can shoot down at you a little bit more easily. So uh, what, what they can also do, depending on the situation, is maybe like right side peek over this edge, uh, looking downward past it. So the reason that I, I want to talk specifically about like weapon range here is that you have an advantage in the fact that this weapon has better range than theirs. But because of the way you're positioning, you're taking that advantage away from yourself. Um, you're not playing according to the map. You're not like putting yourself in a position on the map where that range is useful to you. And so as a result of that, this player could easily have like pushed you. Um, they did safely get away from you and you're losing an engagement that you didn't have to lose or at least coming out without getting any benefits uh, because of the places that you're putting yourself on the map. As a general rule, Short-ranged weapons like cover. Long-ranged weapons don't like cover. Um, now, there are some exceptions to that rule, and I know that Devi's, you know, wait a minute, I play from cover all the time. Um, but the idea here is if you're in a, a wide open space, if the entire map was just flat and boring and there's nothing else in it except for the two squids, the longer-ranged weapon wins literally every single time. There, There's just, you're getting, you're, you're missing shots. You're getting outplayed hard if you as the longer ranged weapon lose to the shorter ranged weapon. So it's up to the map designers to give the short ranged weapons a chance. Um, and that chance comes in the form of, I mean, it, obviously they have some maneuverability that uh, the weapon itself has, but really that maneuverability only matters if they can, you know, scoot themselves behind cover, if they can get themselves away into places that are awkward for the longer ranged weapon to shoot at. Um, Recognizing uh, one of the reasons that I wanted you to stay on the fan earlier is to recognize, does this weapon have longer range than me? Is this the end zap I'm looking at or is this the anything else on the, the, other, the other team right now? Um, and if it's the anything else, then 
you don't want to put yourself in a position where they have a straight line of sight and you have no cover. Um, if it's something like the Jet Squelcher, you want to play for cover because you're the shorter ranged weapon. The cover get, keeps you safe for long enough for you to approach them and get within range. Um, that's the utility of cover in this game. So if you recognize that that weapon has more range than you, then you want it to be coming like from behind this wall if you're going to approach them at all. And I, I would recommend not approaching them in this position. There are too many places that they could go to kite you back and make it unsafe for you to push them. Um, most you could do if you were to drop from there and they were to play it smart is to like throw a bomb at them and try and flush them out into the open. Um, but that even then they have too much room for, the, for them to run around to. So um, probably not the play there. But as the, the zap goes behind this tower, um, something that you'll see a lot of like brushes do, for example, or rollers, is they'll be running away from you and they'll get behind a corner. And you'll chase them around that corner, and then you'll realize that they have stopped dead as soon as they got around the corner and have been waiting to just splat you as soon as you show up around the corner. Um, that's a really common tactic. And really, any player with a short range, shorter ranged weapon who realizes that that's the kind of engagement they're in, they can pull that off too. Because usually the shorter ranged weapon is going to splat faster. Um, it's very rare that they give a weapon both very long range and a very fast time to splat. Um, the basically one exception being like the, the, the super backline weapons like a Hydra or a Charger. Um, and they get that because they have another downside, which is it takes freaking forever for them to be able to fire the weapon in the first place. Um, so the Zap runs around the corner. If you just like chase them or like get into range like this, if they are on the back side of the tower still and they can just like peek out around to the right here, you're still in range of them, but they can hit you, and they can also right side peek you from here. So this is not a winning fight if the Zap decides to take it with you. Now it looks like they decided to take it with your opponent, with your teammate instead, which is frankly lucky for you. They do still beat the teammate though, because um, they pulled basically the same stunt against your teammate. Your teammate was a longer ranged weapon. And that longer ranged weapon decided to get in range of the shorter ranged weapon while the shorter ranged weapon had cover. So they closed the distance against the end zap. And it was the end zap, all, all the end zap had to do was hit four much faster shots while the jet had to hit four much slower shots. At that point, the range doesn't matter. End zap is able to get the trade, which really, I mean, your teammate is able to get the trade, which is a huge win for them, honestly, in that situation. Like, they mechanically outplay the end zap to be able to get that. But really, what should be happening here is they should realize, oh, the end zap is fighting me, and I'm too close to it. I should back up and then start shooting at the end zap. And that's how you beat the end zap in that fight. If the end zap backs up behind cover, you're there on the other side, and you can, like, throw a bomb and flush it out into the, the jet squelcher's range. If it backs up on the fan, cool. The end zap has just completely given up mid control and you now have full control of mid. So those are all favorable options if the jet squelcher just backs up. But uh, because they made basically the same mistake that you do, um, they get splatted instead and go down for a 1v1 in a situation where you should have had complete advantage over the situation. Um, so basically what happened to the jet, squ jet squelcher here would have happened to you if the end zap had just been looking in the other direction. Um, they probably at least go down, uh, probably shouldn't have even traded there. The, the end zap missed too many shots is what that means. Um, if the end zap and the, the jet squelcher are you know, on equal footing there and they hit an equal number of shots, the end zap wins that every time. So at this point, we don't really have an advantage. We could have gotten a pick on the end zap and had an advantage and had, you know, three people up plus the tower rider. And that's when it's a start a good position to start kind of pushing the tower or, you know, maybe drop some specials and then start pushing the tower. Because now, even if the, the tower rider, we consider them to be completely useless, even if their impact on the game is completely nullified by the fact that everybody knows that they're on the tower, you still have a 3v3 fight. 
And so you can be pushing the tower while that 3v3 fight, 3v3 fight is going on. And we know that really the person on the tower can sometimes help with fights. Um, so you've got an advantage now, and that's an excuse to start pushing the objective. Um, but in a 3v3 right now, what's going to happen is you're giving away your position to the enemy team. And so they know exactly where one of you are. And th th otherwise, it's just a 2v3. So you've put yourself at a disadvantage by trying to take the tower here. Um, the enemy team was not sufficiently displaced or splatted for you to just get on the tower and start pushing it. And so they do a good job of taking advantage of you giving your position away. They splat you off the tower, and now they have a numbers advantage. They also have a special uh, on your teammates here. So let's see if your teammate can trade. Yeah, you're so, and this is exactly how it should play out. The other team is playing it really, really well right now. Um, the NZAP recognizes they're at a uh, range disadvantage, and so they get away and get behind cover and use that cover to take out a, a backline weapon who's pushed too far forward. Then um, you get picked as a punishment for grabbing the tower by this player, and your teammate trades back this player for dropping down and taking you out. But remember, your, your team is at a numbers disadvantage right now, which means that if they just keep trading back and trading back, you know, even if you set that domino chain in motion, eventually the other team wins. Um, your team traded back, and now you were at a 2v2 situation, but this guy took them out. So now you're in a 2v1 or a 1v2 situation. Um, and so most you're going to be able to do is throw a booyah on the tower to stop it. I think that's frankly not a good position to use the booyah from because you don't have your teammates back yet. Um, stopping them from, you know, taking lead when the lead is just getting to 97, there's not really a point in doing that. Now, if you save it for when they're starting to push the checkpoint and you're able to really cut them off at that point and the rest of the team is able to get in because you waited until they got the checkpoint, that's a better look. Um, they might have seen something we didn't, though, because they did get a pick out of that. Um, maybe the, the other player just stayed in the booyah, or maybe they actually had some support from a teammate who was able to hem them in and use the booyah to get a pick. So who knows? Um in any case, you, you come in and there's a numbers advantage for your team. Now, just because there's a numbers advantage for your team does not mean you can just co like completely push into mid because we have two weapons that outrange you both on the right fan here. Um, I believe the Nautilus outranges you. It's pretty close, but I think it's a little bit further. Um, chat can correct me if I'm wrong there. Maybe Debbie would know being a Splatling player. Um, but... Uh, what you want to be doing right now is uh, they can't hold mid. If they're out in mid, they're too exposed. They don't have escape routes. They, they have to back up. But what they could do is stay on fan or stay on plat and make it really difficult for your team to push the tower at all. Uh, if you get on tower right now, you get absolutely shredded because one of them shoots on one side and the other one shoots on the other side of the tower. You have absolutely no way to push them forward. So... What you want to be doing is playing either for paint control right now, maybe get a special so that you can use that special to push through when your team is able to start getting some numbers and maybe then you can you know force them backwards and get the tower passed. Or you paint so that you can take control of the map and get up onto their plat at some point and be able to put forward pressure on. Remember that your team doesn't have a lot of good forward pressure. The, you've got the Clash Blaster, which can move forward a little bit, but it's not going to be able to paint well for itself, and so it's going to get there kind of slowly. And then you are the next best thing in terms of painting your way forward. Uh, you're probably more mobile than the Clash Blaster is. Um, it's just you want to be using your range to get forward. But you know where two of them are. If you get over onto the left-hand side and start trying to take control of their plat, you can maybe use your range to kind of get them out of the way. And if they start, you know, trying to, if they start outranging you and threatening you, you can either drop down and shark on the wall here so that um, they, you know, they have to get close to be able to defend against the tower. And as soon as they get close, then you can pop up and try and bag them from there. Or if you have special by that point and they're trying to outrange you, you can just put a, a booyah bomb out in front of them force them further back and give the tower time to get through and you time to paint up and maybe shark somewhere and be able to get closer to them maybe get behind cover or something so i'd be trying to angle towards the left hand side here i think 
and try and get control of their plat while we still can. Because uh, you don't get a lot of opportunities to get up there. Taking fan is usually pretty hard because, you know, smart teams are going to be watching that. That's the quickest way for them to get over the top and put pressure on the backliners who are up here. Um, and right now they're covering fan pretty hard. But over here, you might have an opportunity. And if they all focus on you on the far left-hand side, worst case scenario, you have a backliner on the far right-hand side who can shoot at them from another angle that they're not watching. And so you, they have to either look this way or look this way. And so now they're fighting a two-front war. And that's still advantageous for you, even if your whole job is to just look pretty and stay alive. So let's see what we end up doing here instead. Um, we're sitting on the fan here. Uh, with the numbers advantage that we had there, we probably want to be pushing for more of an advantage. Because what we're going to end up doing if we just stay here in mid is we're going to wait for the other team to respawn and then it's we're going to lose our whole advantage so um i do like that we're pushing forward a little bit this isn't a bad position to take while the fan is up to try and shoot someone from over here we have to be a little bit more careful once the nautilus and the jets get in position and can see us over fan so that is going to be able to threaten us but yeah this player has no business whatsoever trying to jump on the tower right now um there's there's just no advantage that should cue them in that this is a good idea so now we can start trying to maybe push forward a little bit. This is another great opportunity to push left. The only person who's on the left is this Jet Squelcher who's raying. There's no way they stop you if they don't see you. So if you come, like, maybe hug the wall here and try and paint your way up, um, you pop up and you're already in range of them and you take them out easy peasy. Um, so that'd be a good opportunity for you. I guess you have the Nautilus there watching. So maybe that wasn't an option to kind of get up against the wall there. Um, let's see here. So you see the Nautilus there. You throw a bomb. What I would definitely want to be doing from here is, um, while I'm not forced to look down to paint my feet, I definitely want to be turning my camera upwards so I can see what's going on up here. Because uh, right now you're out in the open, right? You have no cover. And even if you have basically the same range as the Nautilus, they have height advantage over you. So they're going to be able to hit you sooner than you can hit them. Um, so you want to make sure you're either hugging this wall here to make it hard to hit you or backing up outside of their range. Um, going from like the middle of the map where you have no cover whatsoever um, and you don't have the range to hit them from up there, even if you did have the range to hit up from up there, the Nautilus splats way faster than you do. It, it is a much, much faster time to splat than almost any other weapon in the game. Um, the exceptions being probably like Hydra and Chargers, and I guess maybe if a sploosh is right on top of you. Um, but that's about all you got. Uh, maybe like a Dapples out of a roll. Super, super fast uh, kill time. And so being out in the open against the Nautilus, you will always lose unless you have more range than the Nautilus. So um, we're kind of, I feel like uh, we're maybe waffling a little bit about, do we want to move forward or not? Do we have an advantage or don't we? Um, and so keeping closer track of numbers advantage is one way that we can uh, resolve that and know when it's time to move forward. Um, and uh, also, you know, having paint in front of you is a good sign because if they're not contesting the paint, then they're probably not going to contest you. And uh, finally, just when you do want to push forward, we will need to make sure that we're using cover and putting ourselves in a position where a weapon of our range is going to be able to hit them uh, and it's going to have advantageous fights. Another thing to think about is how visible you were to the Nautilus when you went there. So you get this flat on this player, right? And they are already shooting at you, hoping to maybe stop that, but they realize that they're out of range. You then also throw a bomb at this Nautilus. This Nautilus has known where you are for like five seconds, and they're probably just watching you the entire time that you go over here. And yeah, you're like sharking in the ink, but they see those uh, splashes in the ink, and they're already putting shots down on this exact location. They were tracking you the whole time. Um, so knowing that the other team is going to gonna have object permanence, that they're going to like see you and remember that you're there even though um they stopped seeing you um that's another you know awareness thing 
to keep you safe from putting yourself into bad positions. Okay. So it is once more a 3v3 situation. Your team decides to take the tower here, um, which ends about the way that we should expect it to. You meanwhile have a teammate who's trying to flank on the right, and the other member of your team is left completely alone in mid, and so they choose to just jump out. That is the smartest decision that your teammate could have made in that situation. But what you could potentially have done is try to support them so that they didn't have to jump out and maybe they could just retreat back to plat. So like, oh, actually, hmm. I guess you have already decided to jump into this player. Um, I would say that with this flank, you only need one person doing it. Uh, the reason I say that is that the thing about flanks, the thing that makes them situational rather than just do this all the time, is that they take a lot of time. Um, and this is one of the slowest flanks in the game. Because you have to get over here to the far right side, which is already out of play. And then you have to shoot this fan to move this platform over. Then you have to get up on that platform. And you have to wait for it to slowly move back into place so that you can jump out into their base. And even then, this is not an area that they're necessarily going to focus too much on controlling. So to get to anywhere where you're having an impact, you need to circle all the way back around them. That process takes about the same amount of time that it takes someone to respawn. It's very, very slow. Um, and so having someone over here already, the best thing you can do to help this player is actually put pressure on from the front. Um, if this player goes in and ends up behind the enemy team, but they're completely alone, the enemy team just turns around and deletes them. Um, but if you're fighting the enemy team in the front and they have to look at you, and then this guy comes in from the back, if they turn around, you shoot them in the back. If they keep fighting you, your teammate shoots them in the back. They don't win in that position. That's when a flank works out. Um, given that you have two teammates that are here in the middle and one who's flanking, your best call is probably to support them in the middle somehow. Um, and you don't have to be like right on top of them. Maybe you like swing out to the left and get an off angle that way. Maybe you try to take fan or something. But usually if you have a teammate flanking, the best call is not to like join them on the flank. It's to help the rest of the team because the rest of the team is already outnumbered. You don't want them to be like going down before the flank can even come through. I actually like that you kind of considered, uh, maybe I need to go back, but it's kind of unwise to go back at this point because you're going to be dropping down on the low ground and the entire enemy team could well be right on the tower. Um, and so that'd probably be suicide at that point. You're, so you're kind of just going to go around, follow your teammate here. Um, and the teammate does end up getting one pick and you are able to kind of help them out from here. But you'll notice the entire fight has happened by the time you get there. Um, you don't really have an impact on that fight. What I might have done in that position was wait for my teammates to get back into a position that mattered and just super jump to them. Um, rather than swinging all the way around and like following your teammate the whole way through. Okay, so let's back up for a second. Okay, so we see this splash out of the corner of her eye and then they fire a blaster shot. So we know that they're there. Um, I noticed that probably a little bit sooner than you did, because um, you turn and look away for a second, and then you do a double take. Um, so that's something where, like, any, you know, blue splash out of the corner of your eye, any movement in the enemy color should immediately alert you, should immediately be, like, red flags, klaxon blaring in your head, like, zip your, zip your attention over to that as soon as you can. But that'll come with time. You do recognize that they're here, and they are in a terrible position. They're stuck on enemy ink with a blaster, and not only that, but a blaster that doesn't one-shot. So they have to hit multiple shots. And in between, they have nowhere to strafe. So this is a very difficult fight for them to win. Even with the baller here, all you really have to do is throw a bomb behind them. And they're still stuck here with you. Uh, they can't retreat if there's that bomb behind them. And they will have to paint their way out. And as soon as you see a blaster shot trying to paint their way out, you just fire ahead of where they would be swimming and you still catch them. So this blaster is really, really stuck. Now they do have a teammate coming in to help. Um, since you have splat bombs, um, the most efficient way to deal with this is to drop a bomb on the jump 
and then focus on the other player with your main weapon, knowing that the bomb is going to get rid of this player as they jump in. Um, at this point, the Rapid Blaster has gotten away, so you can probably just focus on the guy who lands on tower. But, uh, oh no, they haven't gotten away. They should have gotten away. They threw that... So they, they threw that, uh, that torpedo. Yeah, they threw that from up and over. They were out of there. They could have backed up. Um, but I guess they decided that they wanted to try and save their teammate who's jumping to the tower or something. So maybe that's why they stay in. But yeah, they, they should just go down here and they do. Yeah, at that, in that position, Rapid needs to just let their teammate die and back up because otherwise they're both going down. Um, one thing that I want to point out here is the way that you play this fight against the Rapid, because, uh, just like I was talking about, um, the end zap playing against you, you now, um, it's mostly the baller that forces you to do this, but you're playing and using your range here, um, because you know that the area behind the Rapid Blaster over here, the place where they might be able to hit you from outside of your range is all painted your color right now. If they were to start moving in there, yeah, you would have to worry about the blaster being in this exact position, but they're not there. And so you know, you can stand exactly like this close to this corner. And if the rapid decides to peek you, then you have range on them. And then you just get up over the tower because them being here is insane and not a good idea. So you standing on tower there is safe. Um, so to review what, what you were doing there is you were playing around cover, knowing that if the Rapid got in position to hit you, you could also hit them. Um, and that's really smart, and that's the way that I want to see you, you know, playing every matchup that you end up against, every fight that you play. Uh, right now, you've got uh, a heavy on the tower. There's no reason for two people to be on the tower unless you're at a checkpoint, and even then, it's not a very important reason most of the time. Um, if two people are on tower, what's happening here is if someone shoots at the tower, they have the potential to get two splats. Um, there might be, I guess, a little bit more, uh, help painting the tower, I guess, but one person should reasonably be able to paint for themselves and tower dance against like two or three people for a while before they get caught. Um, even on something like a splatling, I've seen Devi just push tower into like three different people in a 1v3 situation on the hydra and still get an extra five points or something um so have you know i recently did this on a ko i have a recent clip of it there you go um so uh you don't need to be on tower for pretty much any reason right now and the only reason you would want to be on tower while they're on tower is to get through the checkpoint faster well what's going to be more helpful than that is if you're pushing up in front of the tower and clearing the way in front of it. Because remember, one of the problems with your team is that you have a double backline comp. That means that it's really hard for this Jet Squelcher and for this Remix to get into a position where they can keep people from walking right up to the tower. Um, they can't really use the range while they're riding the tower, especially up this wall, because they're right up against a wall. It's completely useless for them to have range. A shorter ranged weapon just drops on them, and can hit them before they can hit them. So what, there's nothing really that they're going to be able to do to clear out the way in front. Um, while they're riding the tower, they need you to be up in front of the tower pushing people forward um, so that that way the tower has room to come up over the wall. And then once it's up over the wall, the, the heavy can actually help you out in those fights. You also have a Booyah Bomb. Um, being up closer so that you can see what it is that you have to fight and um, you know kind of get some recon before you pop that is going to be really helpful but sitting on the tower right here is at best a liability oh and your only frontliner has just spl gotten splatted so now there's absolutely nothing going to stop the them from just running right up to the tower and now you start pushing forward but this is something you should have been doing well in advance uh, because by the time you get up over the wall, they're already going to be in position to defend. Um, so let's talk about taking this fight. When you're up on a wall like this, whenever you pop up over the top, you're at a disadvantage. Why? Because it's going to take you some time to 
get to a position where you can aim and like fire shots. Um, and during that time, you're going to be airborne. Being airborne is the most vulnerable state you can be in in Splatoon because you're probably up above cover. So you have nothing that's like protecting you from anybody, anybody else. Also, you're kind of a sitting duck and you're visually very distinct from everywhere else in the background. Um, if you're like swimming around in ink, like, yeah, you got the little ripples going out, but you're a little bit lower profile. You're harder to see. Um, it's a little bit easier to sneak around that way. When you're up in the air, they're going to see you. Um, now, you can minimize that a little bit if you can go into squid form in the air, which decreases the size of your hitbox and also changes you to a more monochrome uh, model. But you can't shoot from that position, and that's what you want to be able to do quickly. So you're very quickly going to be going into kid form, which makes you a bigger target, which makes you a more visible target, and you're just right over the edge, which is exactly where they're expecting you to be at this point. And good players, you know, they might see you swimming up to this and just pre-fire it and have shots down before you even get up over the ledge. Uh, so this is a very disadvantageous position that you're pushing. And what can help you push it better is if you get there first, is if you get there quicker, quick, quicker, quickly and quicker combined, quicker. Just get there quicker. Um, and once you're up over the, over the top, you can maybe move yourself into a position where you have better cover and you have a better angle on them. Or you could just get yourself up there to a position where you can booyah on them and uh, they're too scared to try and run at the tower from that position. Um, now, you end up in a fight against the one player who you can actually outrange. Um, so when you see someone swimming towards you this close, start shooting at them right away. Don't move. Start shooting at them right away, because in the time that it takes you to start shooting, they literally cross you up. They actually swim past you. Um, so your ability to fight them at a range advantage, it depends on you starting to fire shots immediately as soon as you get up over the ledge, uh, and that doesn't happen. So they're able to pick you because they're able to just kind of outmaneuver you. They are a faster moving weapon, and they have a pretty fast kill time. I'm not sure if it's faster than yours, but... It's pretty darn fast, and they actually stop lead from being taken, um, which isn't a huge deal because this is just like 75, first checkpoint. But that does slow your push down a lot, and what ends up happening here is the rapid gets in position. Eh, I guess it's a trade because your teammate helps out with that. Uh, but slowing the push down by itself is huge for the enemy team because that lets them undo a numbers advantage faster. They shouldn't have rode the tower for that long. They should have just let it drift back into mid. Um, the smart thing to do in tower control when you don't have the advantage, but the tower was pushed a little bit into your base, is set it moving back towards mid, but then get off it. That way, um, the tower is moving in the direction you want it to by itself without putting you in any danger at all. Um, with the, the map painted this much for your team, they had no business getting anywhere near the tower. Their job was to paint and get specials and wait for their teammates to get back before they ever tried to do anything like that. So that has put your team at a slight advantage here, but it looks like someone gets picked. Um, so good job on your teammate for getting out of that position. Ooh, that, oh. if you don't get up and over the fan here, the Ancient kills you for sure. So lucky that you were able to uh, make your way back over the top. And at this point, you're playing to not get killed by the inkjet. Your teammate was backing up that you just saw. They were not in a position to help you at all. Um, they can't contest an inkjet, especially one with height advantage over it. Because um, it just one-shots them. And it, it can shoot at like one the one corridor where your teammate can see them from. They don't want to challenge that. You don't want to be challenging that. You want to be hugging cover. Um, if you hug a cover you have a much lower likelihood that the AOE damage from the inkjet is going to be able to catch you. Being out in the open like this is a huge risk and one that does not pay off. Uh, it shouldn't have paid off against the inkjet, but it ended up that there was actually another player who was pushing you using the tower for cover. Um, so it was an even worse idea than we knew going into that. I don't know if we can see that person coming up. We do see a little flicker in the lower left, but I don't blame you for missing that. Uh, yeah, we see them flick, flicker right here and then pop up on the, the side. Um, but even just the inkjet should have been enough to deter you from trying to get out in the open like this. Um, 
Remember, part of playing your range is knowing when you're outranged and not pushing it uh, over open space because the, the player with more range hits you first. Inkjet has much, much more range than you do. Uh, so if they're not already on top of you, you probably don't want to peek yourself out in the open ch and challenge that. One exception might be if they're looking someplace else and they're shooting it like your teammate um, and they're trying to get like uh, AOE shots on your teammate because they're going to have to like snap all the way around and direct you if they want to splat you first. Um, so that can be a higher percentage fight to take if you can close distance while they're not looking at you. And it really goes the same way for like any longer ranged weapon, but mm, in this situation, you didn't really have an advantage to, to gain from moving into mid like that. And so you go down, they're going to take the uh, lead a little bit further. Teammate does a good job of flanking around. That's about the best they could have done in that situation. They uh, waited until they had numbers and they went for it. So not a bad defense at that point in time, but they really, you really didn't have to be on defense. Um, what I want you to be doing right now is painting left. Uh, if you paint up over the top here, that does pretty much one thing, which is tell the enemy team where you are. Um, you can't see them coming and they have range advantages over you. So if somebody just like peeks over the wall here, they know exactly where you are and you're seeing them for the first time. So they have a little bit of initiative on you and they should be able to get the splat before you can turn and shoot them. What you wanna be doing is painting this up on the left so that you can get up over the left-hand side because then you can pop up over the wall and be closer to them and actually stand a chance of forcing them back. That will also get you, uh, okay, it would have gotten you Booyah Mom faster. You ended up getting it here anyway, but you would have gotten it by the time you got up the wall anyway, and then you could be in a more advanced position. Being right here, that bomb, that's pretty easy for them to avoid because there's no other pressure on them. Um, they can just retreat in any direction they want to, and you haven't painted that much of their plat so that they're actually cut off. Um, so that bomb, again, probably just like a warning shot. It's not painting for special for you. It's going to get immediately painted over by them anyway, and it's giving away your position. And now you're stuck at a range disadvantage because now the Crapid has gotten in position to hit you, and you're also having... Okay, the Nautilus decides to miss all of their shots, but... Um, a stronger Nautilus player doesn't miss those and you go down much more quickly than they do. Um, so you get a little bit lucky there. But the Rapid probably should have still got you and it's really just the Booyah Bomb that saves your life there. And then I don't know what the NZAP is doing here, frankly. They just kind of... Um... Okay, I, so that was a super jump is what happened there. Uh... Did they have any right to be super jumping to that? Probably not. Um, they should see that there's a lot of yellow ink in front. They should also see that there's paint going down in the middle of the map. And when they look at their map and they see those conditions, they see that pattern in the ink, they should know that if they jump to this player, they are expecting them to win at best a 1v1 straight up in order for them to survive at all. And that is not the position that this player is faced with because there's a Booyah Bomb here as well. So they, they definitely uh, messed that all up. Mm -hmm. Question? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, the stream just says Chad for some reason. Like, it's just a black screen oh and then blue text in the corner that says you, Chad. You just, you just changed it to your Dark Souls thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, apologies, everybody. What happened there was I have a hotkey set. Um, when I play Elden Ring with my friend Chad, um, I, that, that's the way that I switched to his view. Um, and that's, that's hot keyed to the arrow keys. So, um, thank you for interrupting me. I hope that that didn't interrupt too of it, too much of it. I'm going no, to go like, and uh, kill that hot key so that that doesn't interfere any further. I also just decided to go back to my phone because I couldn't get in, I couldn't get the computer to work. Gotcha. Um, so. Thank you for letting me know. And, you know, again, anytime there's any kind of uh, technical difficulty, make sure to let me know. That goes for stream audience as well. A streamer will always want to know <laughs> so that it doesn't bother anybody else and drive anybody else away. So thank you. Okay. So now we're getting up on the wall. 
Uh, which is... Mm, let's see. So, it's just the Jet Squelcher. But now it's not just the Jet Squelcher. Uh, the Jet Squelcher does a pretty good job of fighting this, though. Um, when, it, when it's in a three-down situation, especially in the situation where you need to be applying like most of the offensive pressure, I want you painting this whole thing thoroughly and then just getting up there as fast as you possibly can. Um, it probably would have been unfortunate because the jet probably would have been watching you here. But like, it, your teammate goes up there quickly. If you get up there quickly too, you stand a chance of taking an off angle from your teammate so that this player has to choose to shoot at one of you. And one of you probably gets the trade. And the trade is worth it in this position. The trade makes it so that the enemy team is staggered and that the push gets to keep going. And you are also someone with special. And so um, if they shoot at you, I mean, good for them, but your teammate was shooting at them first. If they shoot at your teammate, then you splat them and you still have special, so. Um, I think this actually completely stops the push. And that's just from them. Man, that's really unfortunate. Um, the real problem here is just that the team goes in one at a time against this Jet Squelcher. So, the, you know, you get three down. The Clash Blaster goes in very obviously over the far right, and so the Jet Squelcher is going to see that first. And they end up in a fight against the Jet Squelcher they can't win because they don't have range. Um, you two go up, and this is a fight that you should get won, but unfortunately, because it's not painted perfectly, you end up falling down. And so your teammate gets in a 1v1, and they just miss too many shots. And by the time you get up, they are at a perfect position to hit you while you don't have range over them. And so this jet gets a triple. So now your teammate is forced to jump out. Um, I don't think that's entirely your fault because your one teammate did definitely feed in. Um, what you really want to be doing to make that fight work is go in at exactly the same time as your teammates and take different angles so that Again, they have to look at one of you, and they can't look at all of you. Um, it's If you t can time it right, it doesn't matter if they're shooting at one of your teammates is immediately as soon as they get in there, because there are three people shooting at them. And so the chances are pretty good that even if they're shooting at your teammate right away with perfect aim, you guys still splat them first because you have three times the DPS. Okay, so one of them is down. Uh, so, uh, that hopefully didn't trigger it again. Yeah, okay, we still no, got the right, right screen. Um, so, from here, uh, right there, the end zap goes down. And seeing that and knowing that someone's raying, I know that there are only two players out there on the map who stand a chance of actually splatting me. Um, at least quickly. If the ray is locked onto me, then yeah, you have to play um, elusively and make it miss. But it's not aiming at you right now. Uh, it's not really aiming anywhere near you right now. It didn't know where you were. So when you swing over to the left-hand side, you have an opportunity to take a power play fight, to go in there and fight when you have a big numbers advantage. But we basically just give the other team a longer time to respawn as we're swinging around here. Um, it looks like you're going for the, the, the jet here, the ray, but we want to make sure that the, the area behind them is painted first so that this exact situation doesn't happen, that there is someone protecting them. Because um, right here, dropping down here, I'm scared to do that. This is very, uh, very risky. Especially since one of them is down and the other team is likely to back up. They're probably hiding out right here. And so I want to, instead of like trying to shoot this guy while he's, his back is turned to me, you can just paint his escape route. And if you were to try and like paint the escape route here from the high ground, you would notice that the Nautilus is here early enough. And instead of hard committing to going for them and just dropping over the ledge, which again, putting you airborne, biggest disadvantage state in Splatoon, you could just like back around the wall here not get killed by the Nautilus, know that they're there, and be able to deal with them with your teammate. As it stands, your teammate doesn't have enough time to, to roll their charge up and get shots, and so the Nautilus is able to close distance, use cover, 
and keep their teammate and themselves safe. Now, it just so happens that your team pushes in from the right-hand side and catches them there. So that's nice. Actually, no, the Nautilus uh, stays alive. It was the Enzap who rushed in. Enzap's been doing a lot of rushing in. Um, Enzap rushes into that position and gets picked. And that actually might be what it takes to uh, be able to push ahead. Uh, I like that bomb that you threw. Um, that One of the nice things about that bomb and something that might have helped you when you pushed up over to fight the Jet Sculpture earlier is it, it either pushes someone away or splats them or if there was no one there, it still paints your feet. So it's still not a bad idea, and you're going to recharge a lot of the ink that you spent throwing it as you run up the wall. Um, so on your way up, now that you've got this area clear, the next place to worry about is, is there somebody in the top left? Um, because you've got the paint to be able to swim up there and challenge it. And this is the most powerful position that they can stop the tower from right now. Um, yes, it's a threat if there's like a jet squelcher out here on the right, but they do have height disadvantage from there. So you stand a chance of maybe swimming up and getting into range. And you also have someone pushing up on the right that is probably a bigger concern to this player right this moment. So you, it is your job as the frontliner here um, who's trying to clear them away from the tower to be looking at the top left at this height advantage area that has a good vantage point over the the tower because uh, you're the only person who can really have an impact on that from the from right now so i and this is probably more of like a just higher level thing of a game experience thing but if i get up over that ledge i probably see this guy in time to actually have my aim set already because i know that that's where i have to worry about someone from you do get the pick anyway which is awesome and earns you guys the lead and from here, you only have 14 seconds left. What you could do to buy yourself more time to get an even bigger lead is use the Booyah Bomb. And you can do one of two things. You can use it right away and push this guy way further back so that you have a whole bunch of paint to work with and your team gets a higher score. Or what you could do is use the Booyah Bomb and then just hold on, hold it. Like don't throw it because you can sit up there for like eight seconds or something like that and just wait and they don't want to move forward because if they rush forward at you then you put it like slightly behind them and they're forced to either run at you into enemy ink and get splatted or they just get hit by the booyah bomb and get splatted so they can't move forward and they're help forced to hold back a little bit but they they want to rush forward because they need to stop the tower and also because you're just sitting there you're not doing anything so they're kind of just in, in a stalemate. Um, and keeping them in a stalemate can stall you for a pretty darn long time from there and let the tower push pretty far. And also, you know, if it goes the whole distance, if it goes like the eight seconds and you throw it on the tower, you can probably use it to end the game at that point. Um, so that's an option. That's actually have. kind of what I ended up doing. Yeah, you, you do end up using it later. The thing is, you go in for a fight on the Nautilus and if the Nautilus decides to focus you and something goes wrong and you trade, you don't have that Booyah Bomb to hold the tower. Um, mm, so at okay. that point, I wouldn't want to engage the Nautilus very in, in, a, in a very high commitment way. Um, you end up playing the fight pretty darn well. Like You have its attention, you throw a bomb at it. Um, from here, if it, had, if it had charge and it had decided to take this fight, it does have a right peak angle on you and you're not hitting your shots yet. So... There is a world where they actually splat you for this fight, um, but it looks like they were already retreating from the, the Clash Blaster, um, which they probably didn't have to do yet. They probably could have splatted you and then gotten around the corner to throw the Clash Blaster's aim off and maybe pop an inkjet or something. They probably had a way out of that, but um, as it stands, you do play it pretty well. I like that you're playing it safe. You're, you're keeping you at max range so you can back up if you need to, and you're playing around your teammate. So that's awesome. And from here, definitely just pop the Booyah Bomb right now um, because you're going to either like draw their aggro so that they have to shoot at you and not the tower and the tower keeps moving, or you're going to be able to just sit there for the entire rest of the game, throw the Booyah Bomb on tower, and just completely end it. So you use it right now, which is totally cool. Um,
I feel like using it a little earlier makes it so that these players don't push up towards the tower. I feel like you zone them out a little bit more by being up in the air because they try to respect the Booyah Bomb, thinking it's going to get thrown right away. Um, and so maybe they play it a little bit safer and don't go for your teammates there because that actually is a situation where they might have shredded you. And what saves you is that the tower is out in, in midair, and so they have to rush to it a little bit more. But these are nitpicks. Your team has full control. You're on the tower all the way through. Um, I think the main things that I, I would say to work on for you have to do with those fights in the neutral game, where you're, you know, you're on the K-Pro. Your goal is to get picks. Your goal is to take good fights. But in order to do that, in order to really get the most out of the weapon, you want to be using it at max range. Um, you want to be, you know, taking fights against the short-ranged weapons from ranges they can't hit you at and taking fights against the long-ranged weapons uh, by using cover to get close to them so that by the time you're already there, um, that's when they're starting to shoot at you. And so it's an even fight. Or an, really an unfair fight because you splat faster most of the time. Um, overall, you did generally pretty well at, um, you know, keeping an eye on what was going on in the objective. Like, I could see your decision-making process the whole way through. It wasn't like you were going out in weird positions like you could tell okay they're trying to play around the tower um be a little bit more uh hesitant to drop down over ledges because again that puts you in a disadvantage state that, that doesn't put you behind cover and you got punished for that a couple of times because you dropped down over a ledge too quickly um so just make sure that your landing is safe you've got some paint out in front of you for you to swim around in um, and also, really, what you're looking for is for there to not be an enemy player near enough that they can hit you as you're dropping, and you have time to get away using that paint. Um, but, uh, I mean, you got the W. You had some good picks there. You know, when you were in a position where you had that max range, those max range shots where your opponents were dropping into some silly places like the NZAP was, notice how the NZAP doesn't have any specials at all. Like, this is a painting <laughs> weapon, but they were getting splatted so frequently that they never got to fire a single set of Tenta Missiles. Um, that's, that's bad positional play from them. And you can see, you know, they are kind of just feeding in in a lot of these positions. They're kind of just holding forward at the tower, and you do a good job of punishing that. So um, you're in good positions to take out players like that. Um, it's just, like, be more cognizant of exactly how much range you have so that when you end up in a fight you already know that it's a fight you want to take and it's not like uh i'm out in the open can i hit this guy oh shoot i'm already dead using my range has been something i've been trying to work on over the last week but awesome thank you anyway yeah it, it's and it, you were playing like neo splash when we were playing uh league so seems like that's something where you're used to playing the shorter ranged weapons and you're used to having to close more distance. Um, and so yeah. maybe that's something that you're, you're still getting the hang of. Um, that totally makes sense. Uh, and the, the other part of that obviously is like making sure you have cover. Um, Cause you know, on a Neo splash as well, sitting in the middle of anchovy games when there, you know that there's someone on the ledge above you, never where you want to be. You always want to be sharking somewhere. You always want to be setting up a fight where either they can't fight you because they don't have an angle to hit you, or if they do fight you, you are in position to win it because you're the shorter ranged weapon. Um, so that, that will always be helpful to you, just using cover more. Um, and the more you play the game, the more experienced you get, you know, the closer you get towards X rank, um, the better you're going to get, and the more, as long as you keep thinking about it, at making sure that every corner you step around you're going to have a good fight if they decide to give you one. All right. Um, and that brings us right to the top of the hour, which is perfect timing for us. So thank you so much uh, to Radical Onion for being our VOD reviewee today. Uh, always appreciate- Thank you for helping me with this. Yeah, absolutely. Always appreciate the, the people who send in footage because we would not have a show if not for you guys. Um, and I know it can be nerve wracking sometimes to you know be, criticized in front of all of the people who are watching um but we really do appreciate having you guys on 
Uh, it's a huge help. And thank you to everybody for sticking around and watching. If you want a VOD review like this, check out our Discord server uh, where you will be able to find me and send, send me a DM straight from there. Um, we uh, also have a, a new Twitter page uh, that I will link really quickly uh, because not a lot of people are following it. And so I don't think a lot of people know what it exists yet. I didn't but even know it existed. The Twitter at is, um, I think you can just go twitter.com and then put the at. It is squid school underscore SPL right there. Um, so we have a Twitter there and uh, eh, I'll wait on the, the, the TikTok account. I'm actually making a TikTok um, and we'll be kind of putting some clips from the show, some like bite-sized pieces from the show and also the YouTube videos up there. Uh, try and uh, get some extra volume there. So that'll be something that uh, is a project in the near future, but it's not up yet. So I'll plug it when I've uh, got it ready to see. Um, I think that is all that we have to talk about there. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I have been Jem, and 